The state of California's Title 24 Energy Code was engineered to provide builders and architects a lot of design flexibility. And because of that, it's very complex. So in order to get the biggest bang for an energy dollar, it's important to hire a certified energy analyst. With me today is Doug Beeman, chair of the California Association of Building Energy Consultants. Doug, for a builder or an architect, what are the advantages of hiring a certified energy analyst? The KVEC member, and more particularly the certified energy analyst, is actually able, because of their training and experience and knowledge, to find the combination of measures for the particular climate zone or the site where the home's going to be built to get the biggest bang for the buck. Builders have a lot of choices when it comes to meeting Title 24. I suppose it's a challenge to select the right energy measure with the climate zone. Oh, absolutely. What our members do when they're working with a client, a builder or an architect, is they address the climate and they try to figure out which combinations of measures really work the best. For instance, if we're in a hot climate zone like Palm Springs or Palmdale or the Central Valley, the energy consultant wants to address the cooling efficiency of the house first because the cooling load is so important on the house. On the other hand, if the energy consultant's working on a house in Lake Tahoe where there's very little cooling load, but the heating load is very, very important, Obviously, they want to address the heating efficiency of the house. And there's even a third component. The energy standards actually address the heating load, the cooling load, and the water heating load. Along the California coast, where the climate is very mild, there's very little heating, there's very little cooling. But in fact, the water heating energy consumption uses more energy than both heating and cooling combined. So what we need to address along the coast is the water heating energy consumption. So that's what the energy consultant has to do, is try to figure out which of those three things they want to address, or all of them, to try to find this optimum combination of energy conservation features. Are KBEC certified energy analysts highly trained in the use of computer programs? There are two primary computer programs that are used. The energy consultant uses one of these programs to look at all the options. And what they literally do is a parametric study to try to figure out now, will this combination of measures comply with the standards, or will this combination? And it's really giving the builders those options of saying, well, you could comply with the standards with the, this combination or with this other combination of measures. For any particular builder, they may like a different combination of measures, not just because of lowest first cost, but also just with the skill level and the trades that are in that particular geographic area. Are there issues with mandatory measures? There are some things that are mandatory requirements that the energy standards say these things have to be done, such as duct construction and the way that the ducts are installed. The uh, appliances have mandatory measures on the appliances, lighting levels in kitchens and bathrooms. Those things always have to be done, and there's no trade-offs allowed. Doug, does it help to have a certified energy analyst in terms of getting your plans through the plan check process? Many building departments realize that because there are many different people that can do energy compliance calculations, if they use a certified energy analyst, that certified energy analyst, because of their training, will have a much higher quality energy calculations and much more likely to have those done properly than someone with a lower level of training. How do KVAC members communicate amongst themselves code-related issues? We have a monthly electronic newsletter. When issues come up that are issues among members, we get word out to all of our members through our monthly newsletter. We also have regional meetings and an annual conference for updates. Doug, as an organization, is KBEC actively involved in influencing the codes process? We're actively, actively involved in not only the development of it, but also the implementation of it in providing feedback to the folks at the Energy Commission of problem areas or issues that arise that need some additional work from the Energy Commission to help enforce that part of the standards. Well, Doug, great information. Thanks for being here. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more information about how to comply with Title 24, check out the other videos on this website.